Work, Mama. Oh, wow, Drew, you're in the same fucking outfit. Oh my god, I know, okay? But I finished the last tag video, and I was thinking to myself, wow, like, I should do, like, a story time video, like, a Halloween story time video, but I couldn't think of one that was, like, Halloween, you know what I mean? So I just decided to, um, do, like, um, like, it's, like, it's Halloween-esque. It's about vampires, okay? It's about vampires. So, about like a year or so ago, I was really into this guy, and uh, first of all, don't do stupid shit because you're into a guy, like, don't do it. Don't do it, bitch. Be yourself, bitch. Don't do this shit, bitch. Oh my god, my hat is falling off. We are having issues with this hat, like, I'm about to fucking, like, chop my head off because I don't want to deal with any of this anymore. Anyway, so, I was, with, I was like, interested in this guy, this guy was interested in me, but, like, it was really weird, like, he wouldn't hang out with me just, like, one-on-one -on -one by, like, ourselves, I don't know. He had, he's not from, or he wasn't, uh... He wasn't from, like, where I am now, like, Austin. He was from Pennsylvania. Um, what? I should give him, like, a code name. What code name should I give him? I'll call him Butt Crunch. Let's call him that. So, Butt Crunch, I was, like, really into Butt Crunch. Like, he knew, like, my family for some reason. Why? Oh, my God, this fucking hat, girls. Ladies, let me tell you about this fucking hat. It's a piece of shit. I got it at, like, a grocery store, I'm not even kidding, like, three years ago. Anyway, so, Buck Crunch and I were, like, really into each other, but he wouldn't hang out with me unless we were with other people or whatever. Namely his friends, because he came down with, like, a bunch of his friends from Pennsylvania. Um, and they all, like, lived together or whatever. Um, but there was this kind of, like, goth night at this club. It was called Fantasia, and it was, um, like a vampire night, I guess? Like a vampire club night? And it was run by the vampire court. It was so bizarre. But, like, we thought it would be, like, really cool. It was, like, on a Sunday, so it wasn't, like a crowded, like, night to go out, and everyone, I was, like, always off on Sundays for some reason. So I was like, yeah, let's go, and we would get, like, all dressed up and, like, mosey on down there, like, we're some big-ass, like, tough-ass shit, I don't even know. It was so stupid, so embarrassing, like, thinking about it now, I'm like, did I really do that? Like, I'm, like, a completely different person, like, every year, you know what I mean? Like, I'm one of those people that, like, constantly changes and constantly, like, evolves and, like, grows. Um, I'm also, like, 21, so that's probably why, <laughs> but, like, it was so stupid, but... At the time, I didn't know I had, like, anxiety issues. I didn't know that I had, like, like major social anxiety issues. I just thought, like, it, it was normal to be, like, nervous around people, whatever. Um, I can make an entire video on, like, my mental state. <laughs> but we're not going to get into that. Anyway, I have social anxiety. So I was going to an unfamiliar place with unfamiliar people. I didn't know anybody but but Munch. <laughs> so, and I just, I just wanted to go just to hang out with him. Just to even, like, just hang out with him, you know what I mean? Because he wasn't one for, like, texting or anything like that, so I had to, like, physically be in his presence. It was so annoying. If somebody's like that, they're a fuckboy. Don't talk to them. Um, so, yeah, I would go with them, and I would have, like, anxieties. I would have, like, panic attacks and issues, so I would, like, stand up in the corner, be a wallflower. I wouldn't talk to anyone, because I didn't really want to, because I didn't care about any of these people other than butt munch. That's the only reason why I was there, and I couldn't even talk to him, because he was... He was there with his friends, he's like a very social, outgoing person, so he was like talking to everyone, and I was just kind of like, hey there, <laughs> I don't know. But we went like multiple times, and every time it would just get worse and worse, I would get so much anxiety, because it was like, it was weird, okay, it was weird. It started off cute, it was like, oh, this is like really cute, everyone's real chill, so the first time I was like, oh, this is cool, like I'll totally come again, like it wasn't that bad. The second time around, they had like, you know, people who do like the silks, like silk dancing, but instead of using like silk fabric, this person used, um, chains, so they had somebody come in and do that. That's not really that weird, honestly. It's, like, hardcore, you know what I mean? So, that was pretty cool, and then they had somebody come in and do, like, performance art on, like, a bed of nails, which is also kind of cool, but I didn't want to see it, because I, I was, like, I was, like, the pain. <laughs> I could feel the pain. <laughs> but they had, like, people come in like that and do, like, little shows and, like, little things. They, oh, my God, this hat, y'all hat, there's like a ghost in here or something, because this hat keeps falling off my fucking head. But yeah, they would like do that, they would play like gothy music, like Evanescence, and, I mean, I like Evanescence, don't get me wrong, the butt munch did not like Evanescence, but he listened to like shit like Motionless and White, and I'm like, okay. Anyway, <laughs> um, but it would progressively get weirder and weirder, more people would go, there'd be weirder people, and it felt like I was at like a Hot Topic convention, you know what I mean? It was like a bunch of like fake ass, like... I'm edgy, I'm goth, like, look how cool I am, I live in, like, the dark, like, oh, I was so stupid. And, like, I think, like, I and, like, one of Butt Munch's friends, we were, like, the youngest ones there, we were the only ones under 21 there, like, everybody else was over 21, like, I want to say over 23 and, like, into their 40s, like, I'm not even kidding, but they all 
look like people I used to go to, like, anime club with when I was, like, in seventh grade. You know what I mean? Like, it was so disgusting. Is this recording still? I'm always so paranoid. Okay. It is. You don't want to miss any of this shit, let me tell you. Okay, so the last night we were there, we were going for, like, a few weeks, maybe, like, four or five weeks. I don't fucking remember. But the last night we were there, I was, like, standing off in the corner, having a pen tech, as I do, and, you know, just, like, looking over the area. Like, how it was, I was sitting here, and then there was, like... Like, the dance floor and shit like that was over there, and then there was, like, a wall, and then, like, a little area. So I was just sitting there, like, having a panic attack, <laughs> even though I didn't know what it was. I didn't know I was having a panic attack. I just thought I was being a little bitch. And I thought I was just being shy and, like, demure and coy, but honestly, I was just being, I, I was having, like, a full-on, like, panic attack. So I was sitting there, and then, like, Butt Munch came over, and he was just like, oh, I just spit everywhere, ew. But Munch came over and just like came to like talk to me, like, hey, are you okay? Blah blah blah. I'm like, oh yeah, dog. I'm trying to play cool, like, oh yeah, yeah, it's just not really my scene. <laughs> but like, I was like, this place is really weird. Oh no, I don't really want to talk to any of these people. <laughs> but I was actually like dying inside. Um, so he was like just coming over, like, to talk to me, whatever. And then we noticed in this like little area, like behind the wall that separated from everything else, there was a girl sitting on a chair with her legs open and a man, face, crotch, man in the crotch of the woman, his face. And we were just like, what the fuck is going on? Like, we heard, like, growling. That's what, like, called our attention to it. He was, like, growling. And she was like, uh, uh. And we thought that he was, like, full-fledged eating her out in the middle of this club. Like, eating her pussy in the middle of this club. And we're just like, what the fuck? Like, this place is weird, but, like, we didn't know it was going to get this weird. Okay. So we were, like, fascinated. Like, it was like a... I keep spitting, y'all. I'm so sorry. But we were, like, fascinated. Like, we couldn't, like, pull our eyes away. It's like a train wreck. You know what I mean? Like, a car accident. Like, you're like, oh, my God. What the fuck? So we were just like watching or whatever. This sounds so creepy. Like we were watching and um, and ooh, I swear to fucking God. Ah! So we were like watching or whatever and um, and we noticed that there was like blood dripping down her leg. So immediately we thought that he was eating her pussy out when she was on her period. Like, we thought it was menstrual blood! We thought it was menstrual blood! Like, we were thinking, like, oh my god, he's, like, full flesh, like, face deep into, like, all this blood, and there was, like, blood, and we thought that she was legit on her period, and we are like, that is so fucking gross, like, like, I'm sitting here with, like, the gayest of the gay ever gay, gay guy, and he was just like, this is disgusting. Like, I could not even, like, oh, uh, uh, it's so gross, I can't. But we were just like, oh my god, that's so gross, like, I want to leave, like, we should go. And then we noticed that he wasn't, <laughs> don't worry guys, he wasn't, like, eating her pussy out when she was on her period, no. He just bit into her thigh, where there's, like, a major artery, right, and was drinking her blood. He was drinking her blood! I was like, my hat just, like, flew out of the building, like, my hat can't even believe it, guys. It's, I need to calm down. But... He was like, he bit into her thigh and was drinking her blood, and we were just like, okay, wrap it up, time to leave. And he was like, the thing is like, okay, like, they're vampires, right? So obviously they go drink each other's blood, but we're like, what if she has AIDS? What if she has, like, malaria? Like, what is going on? Like, disease? Like, I can't even, like, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. It's not my scene, it's not my thing. So we were just like, we left, like, we gathered all his friends, and they're like, no, you wanna stay. And we're just like, we're fucking going, we'll tell you about it. We're on our way to the fucking car that's like 12 miles away. And it was, it was, it was a thing, so we never went back, um, we joked about it for, like, a long time, though, I, honestly, like, honestly. But, like, like, even though, like, things with this guy didn't work out, like, tragically did not work out, like, I can make 20 story time videos about this one fucker, <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm not going to, because I'm a lady, but, like, this is, like, one of the things that will forever go down in history, is, like, the weirdest fucking things I've ever experienced in, like, ever, in life, in, in life, and... I mean, if this was pretty dull to you, then I don't know, you have high standards for crazy shit that goes on in your life. Like, I ain't Tana Mojo, bitch. Like, honestly, this was insane. So, thank you guys for watching. I was screaming in the camera. It's really hot. I'm gonna go, like, I'm gonna go to Taco Bell, get a Baja Blast. I will see you guys in my next video. I upload, like, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, roughly. It's Halloween season, so there are a bunch of Halloween videos going up right now. And, um, yeah, subscribe for more shit. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so hot. I hope he doesn't see this. That'll be so embarrassing.